and here's the sandbox site we have and uh, well the point of this is uh, that we have groups and uh, here is my special group for example and in uh, Drupal 6 we're used to getting just the uh, getting the group content in the list here uh, showing the content of this group but now we don't we only get the group description or something uh, what I did well I'm gonna link to the, the to the old screencast as well because I think it's uh, it makes sense to keep it uh, to show you how, how I make mistakes it's something to learn from um, but I'm going to show you something that the node ID and the group ID of, of these uh, groups are not in general the same. Here's some kind of group I create. It's a node and I can switch to the well I can switch to the develop tab here. This is node number four as you can see um, and if I go over here into tokens this is a tab brought by the uh, develop module, by the way, it's a very good module. You should have it if you're building Drupal sites. Uh, right now people are tweeting about stuff I put on the web, so that's the beeping you can hear in the background. As we can see here, the group ID for this group is 3, while the uh, node ID for this node is 4. They are different, and that's kind of important if you want to list uh, uh, group content. Uh, anyways, uh, organic groups does not uh, in itself come with uh, lists, content lists for groups. You have to create that yourself and usually you use the views module to do that. So I'm going to use the views UI module which means I also have to enable the views core module and I can have a sip of tea. Earl Grey cream, probably the best tea. Well, one of the best T's anyway. Um, all right. Uh, organic groups ships with uh, four views in itself. Default views that you can clone and start using. Uh, they're actually enabled already, so you can list like uh, your own uh, groups that you're a part of. I think I have three here. No, two. Okay. This is an important lesson as well that I mentioned in the uh, old erroneous screencast. Uh, this only displays content this view and I am uh, I'm a member of two nodes that are groups but as we saw in the previous screencast I also made users into groups if I check out my own user account we can see that I'm uh, I am a group this account is a group and I am the group manager for that group that group is not listed here because views only lists nodes in this case or content and that's something to keep in mind when you build lists and stuff of uh, organic groups, especially if you're using other things than nodes for, for groups and group content. Anyways, I'm going to show you how to build, well, no, let's ha say a few quick words about the other uh, um, views first. Uh, group members uh, displays group members in, in a block. It requires a group uh, ID as a as a contextual filter. Uh, here's a list of all groups on the site, I guess. Yeah, that are nodes, and you also have a feed for this one. Uh, and this one is um, a view that displays content of a group. I'm gonna leave that one here because I'm gonna build something very similar to it now. Uh, I'm gonna call this OG test. This is just a test view. Uh, for displaying OG content, OG group, group content even. I'm going to uh, choose to display content here. I could display taxonomy terms, which I also made into group content in the previous screencast, but I'm selecting content right now. That's fine. Create a page, yeah, OG test, cool. Uh, display teasers, that's nice. Let's create a menu link in the main menu, OG test, continue and edit. So, uh, that organic groups uses views to use, uh, make these lists is a really good thing because it makes it much more flexible. You can change the views and, and uh, do fun stuff with them, uh, which was kind of the problem with the old organic groups. It didn't, well, it did all of this stuff itself and you had to write custom modules if you wanted to change anything, which meant you had like 300 modules just to do organic group stuff. You have like organic group calendar, organic group 
latest posts, organic groups, latest comments. Well, you could do this all in views if, it had, if organic groups had just exposed it, uh, its uh, data in a good way. And now it does, and uh, that makes us happy. So, right now this uh, view displays all content because that's how I configured it, all published content. Um, I am going to add a contextual filter to filter on the uh, groups or the group that the content belongs to. However, in order to get that uh, contextual filter available, I have to add a relationship because these nodes do not in, it, in themselves know uh, what groups they belong to. Let's actually show that. If I pick an article here that is a part of the my, my special group, the um, oh, well maybe it does. If we look here in the group audience field we can see that we have group ID 1 uh, but that is actually not exposed to, to views here. If I try to add a contextual filter, I can uh, look as much as I want here, but I won't find the group uh, uh, audience. I can find the group audience delta here, but that's, uh, that's not good enough. Uh, so I'm adding a relationship. Um, group membership that is the uh, node well the the group that the content belongs to it's a kind of a difficult uh, label to understand but that's the one you want to use add this relationship i'm going to call it group membership sure apply this means that i now not only have access to the, the basic node data for for the nodes but also the group data for it and now I can add the contextual filter. And uh, let's find here OG membership group ID uh, group oh group git that's group I, uh, ID I guess. If I add this, um, if it's not present, then uh, give me a summary. That will be fine. Uh, can I do a jump menu? Yes, I can. Cool. Um, I'm going to override the title and call it content for in percent one. I'm going to specify validation criteria. Uh, organics groups group. Cool. Save. All right, so what's happening here is that I require a contextual filter, a value that's being inputted to the view, and I'm going to filter on that to display all the nodes that uh, are attached to this group ID that I'm getting. If I go to this page now, uh, huh, it allows me to select uh, either group 1 or group 2. Let's choose group 1 here. Okay, that, that wasn't very pretty. Uh, OG test slash one. This will give me the content of group ID one. This is one. Um, I can also add group, well, three I had for my new group, uh, some kind of group, and it doesn't have any content yet. Group two is uh, the, the root uh, user. Uh, user entity, so that won't really show up well in this one, I guess. Well, it should, yeah. It should definitely show up here. Yeah, cool. Which is cool. Th this um, um, now filters. It shows nodes that are placed in the roots uh, organic groups group. Okay, so what's happening here? Uh, I have a view. It's listing content. From the content, I'm bringing in some information about the group they belong to. I filter on this using a contextual filter, restricting this to only um, uh, to show only content that belongs to a, a specified group. Uh, in this case, group with group ID one. Uh, this doesn't help us very much when it comes to displaying content in. Uh, Let's actually go 
here to my special group. It doesn't uh, help me very much when I want to display a list of content here, but we'll see in the later screencast that we can use this view in some very neat ways to uh, um, to display uh, views content here. All right, that's it. See you in the next screencast. Goodbye.